All right, all your weekend warriors, FG here. I'm gonna show you my storage container. When you live off the grid, so to speak, you gotta, uh, and you got a lot of stuff, junk, whatever, you gotta uh, improvise. And everybody in this development, which they have like one point, Two five acre lots so pretty big lots no hoa so i'm going to show you my storage container that i uh bought and how i got it up on the blocks so i'll show you the inside first so here's the inside i got my Ride on tractor, which you definitely need. And then I got all my chains hanging. Got some extra wood. And then here I built shelves. I built all them, all them shelves by uh, with scrap wood and uh, basically all the wood I all the wood I had laying around and some two by fours that I had to buy. So here's my little uh, tool corral I built. Holds all my uh, tools, shovels, and whatever have you. And then here's the shelves I built. I pretty much spaced them out where everything would fit, so to speak. But I built that shelf first and then pretty much wedged it in there so it wouldn't uh, fall forward. And then I built this shelf in front of that one. And this shelf keeps that one from falling over. And then this one I bolted to the side of the container. So it ain't going nowhere. And just like everything I build, you could park a Mack truck on it and it ain't going nowhere. And then I'll look at my tools. I got a few generators. When you live off the, uh, when you live in the backwoods and uh, almost off the grid so to speak you need a generator um, so here's all my tools i got my tiller ladders i got a gazillion ladders i got everything pretty much hanging right on motor which you need and let's see what else we got so all this white rock i spread this by hand 24 tons with a shovel and a wheelbarrow so anyway not that this is a flood zone but it's the middle of a swamp in Florida. So <laughs> they built the house, the house is in Florida. So, I mean, it's ain't a flood zone. It's a flood zone, uh, zone X. So it's not a flood zone, um, but you never know. So basically, I don't know if you could see it, but it's about, the container's about a foot off the, off the ground, way off the ground. So this whole, I mean, my, my house would literally have to be almost underwater for this to be underwater. So um, if we ever got like a major hurricane, major hit, at least I have some place to go to, so to speak, that would be out of the water. So as you can see, it's pretty high up off the ground and I have it on a um, six by six post, which is on top of the stone. I have... Uh, here I'll show you better over here so that's basically on top of that stone you can see it over here another one over there another one over there I got my kayak so when I gotta float away from the house I can float away from the house and then here's all my ladders underneath the tarp um, but anyway, as far as the container being off the ground goes, there was a pile of stone over there. Like I said, I shoveled it by hand and spread it all out by hand. But anyway, I put this pile in first, put the block, put the, uh, the six by six on there. And then when the truck came, I basically had him drop the container on the block in the back and then drop it pretty much here, but this pile of stone wasn't here. So I had to um, 
drop it on some blocks in the middle over there and then I had to jack it up over here shovel all this stone under there put the block under there level it out and then drop the container on this and then before I did that I put this middle one in so it was basically up off the ground so this would have to have a major flood for this to be underwater so that's basically my 20 foot outside storage container and pretty much everybody in this uh, this development which is basically off the grid with you know, large lots no HOA so pretty much anything goes you could bring you know you could have uh, cattle horses boats trailers tractor trailers you could park whatever you want on these properties so pretty much everybody at least has one storage container um, and I have a two-car garage which is not full of stuff but it's a two-car garage so but when you have a lot of stuff you need some extra storage um, but that's about it um, if you have any questions on anything just feel free to hit me up but as you can see it holds a lot of stuff and if you build the shelves right um, it holds like I said it holds a lot of stuff you could hang stuff um, I gotta tidy it up a little bit it's a little messy um, but I gotta go mow the lawn the lawn grows like crazy in Florida in the, the summer all right if you have any questions hit me up hope uh, you learned something all right and I'm not gonna come build shelves for you <laughs> and I, speaking of that I built these shelves in the middle of July in the central Florida so this container was uh, I don't know how to be 120 130 degrees in here when I was building these containers um, I had a fan but that didn't do much but you know thank God I had a, a nail gun which I banged them you know bang these shelves right out so that's about it all right going to motor lawn see you later